Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is No Catchy Name 132, <laughs> I think. I uh, put some lights up. These are little heart-shaped lights. And uh, I got Christmas lights. But don't worry, they're only on when I'm in here. I don't leave them on with my yard. <laughs> they're actually, they, they go way up here. Because I'm planning on decorating up there. And I want to get a chair. So that I'm sitting not on the floor. <laughs> that way, you know, you'll be higher up. I'll be higher up. And you'll be able to see stuff. I want to hang Happy Mail up there. I've got these little um, cloth hangers. <laughs> I'm going to put like some yarn up and so I can clip uh, cards and stuff to it. And i got a pile of Happy Mail over here that I've gotten over the years. Uh, little crochet things and all that, that I want to hang up there as decoration. But anyways, I just wanted to show you them on my lights. <laughs> i got two strands of these, but one of them is being a butt head not wanting to work. Anyways, i got some finished objects to show you guys today. got quite a few finished objects and uh, one whip to share with you. Uh, I have a couple whips gone, but I haven't worked on them in a few days. <laughs> so, and I do have a little bit of Happy Mail here in this bag. I have a Happy Mail video coming out probably tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, I recorded it a few days ago, but I haven't gotten around to editing it yet. <laughs> so, I will go ahead and put it up. It's got some Christmas stuff in it. And then these are two packages that I got. Um, after that video, actually, I just... I've just been procrastinating. <laughs> I was supposed to put this video out yesterday, but I just had like a bad mental day and I didn't do anything yesterday at all. <laughs> I was completely not productive. I did manage to work out and I worked out for an hour. So I, I did that. That was about all I did yesterday. Other than that, I was on the couch all day, just being emotional and yeah. But anyways, I feel much better today. I needed that rest day. So uh, let's get into the finished objects. I got a whole pile of them here on the floor. And I forgot my laptop died earlier, so I can't bring it in here. But I think I remember everything. All the links will be in the description box below if you are interested in any of the patterns or anything. First, I will show you my bear. <laughs> this is my first finished object this week. This is my new pattern, actually. I have it on my Etsy shop. If you're interested, that's linked below all the time. But it, it's called Archie the Polar Bear. He's just a cute little polar bear with a little fish. <laughs> And uh, I already seen that someone already made him, and it was so cute to uh, to see someone else make a pattern. I love it when I make patterns and then other people make them. It's just so cool. But he is made with worsted weight yarn, and I used a G hook for him to make him a little bit bigger. Uh, his yarns is this is all of this yarn that I had. I can't remember what the color is, but it's like an off white. And then I used Red Heart white and black, and this is Red Heart blue. And um, the white and black and blue were scraps, but this was from a. Um, uh, open ball. That's why I knew it was I love yarn. I can't remember what I did with the rest of it. I think I, I wound it up into a ball because it was just it was like a half a skein, and then I used the rest of it pretty much on him except a little ball. But uh, yeah, he's super cute. Got a little tail. I made his tail like a flap instead of a ball because if you ever looked at a bear's butt, <laughs> they have like a flap hanging down as a tail instead of like a you know like a sticking up tail. So I made his like a flap instead of that's why it's flat <laughs> instead of circular. But uh, yeah, I think he's adorable. <laughs> but he's my first pattern release of 2021. So now I think I have 11 on the Etsy shop. And I'm hoping to put out uh, 11 more this year. I'd like to put out 12 patterns this year. So he's number one. <laughs> I'm going to stick him up here. That's where he's been living. I just pulled him down to um, record. All right, my next finished object is another amigurumi. This is a pattern by another person. It's called Woodland Birds. And it comes with multiple bird patterns. But here he is. He's a little bluebird. <laughs> If you watch my other videos, you would have seen him uh, last week for National Bird Day. I, uh, I made him. He's super cute. He was also made with scraps. He is uh, Red Heart Super Saver Light Blue. This is a little tiny piece of a Karen cake. If you look close, there are some red specks in there. I think it was the Rainbow Jellies colorway. I made it a uh, messenger bag like two years ago, I think, out of that. And I still had little random scraps of it laying around. So that's part of it. <laughs> He's got little safety eyes. Yeah, he was super quick and easy. And uh, I suggest this pattern if you want to learn amigurumi because it's a pretty easy beginner pattern. And you can make, um, they have it, the bluebird, I think like a yellow finch, uh, robin, and it's got another piece that you sew on, on its belly, and a crow. And you basically just change the colors for whichever bird you want. And uh, I think I used a G hook for him, maybe an elf hook can't remember it's been a week <laughs> but yeah so you would have already seen these two if you watched my other videos but I know some people just watch the no kitchen name episodes so they're just gonna live up there I might actually end up putting them in the Etsy shop because <laughs> I just love making amigurumi and uh, 
I don't have a need to have a million of them in my house. So I usually do make them and then throw them in my Etsy shop or save them for like a craft fair. But I don't know if that's going to happen this year. <laughs> so uh, I might just go ahead and put them in the Etsy shop. All right. On, okay, this is another finished object. I don't have the ends woven in, but it's finished other than that. This is a hat that I made. Um, this isn't, I didn't use a pattern. It's just half double crochet hat. I just uh, increased, I think I used a J hook and I, it's, uh, wor it's considered worst weight yarn, I think. And I increased to 60 and then I just went down some rows and then the last two rows, because I was running out of yarn, I uh, did um, two rows of single crochet just to like make a uh, brim kind of like. This was some yarn that was gifted to me recently from Jennifer at Jedi Dragoon Makes. I'll link her below. If I mention anyone, I'll link them below. <laughs> um, it's an ice yarn. Do I have the band? Yeah. It is ice yarns ambient and it's 50% wool, 50% acrylic. I gotta weave in the ends and then it'll go on my donation pile. But it fits me good, so I think it would fit anyone you know, other adult. I think it came out real pretty. It uh, striped really nice. It's pretty. But yeah. Maybe this is considered a number five. Yeah, it says it's number five. But I, you know, I, th I think it's more like a four. Because it's not really big. It's a roving type yarn, kind of like, when it was in a ball, it looked like um, Red Heart Unforgettable. And there's a Landscapes or something like that. My line brand looks like that too. But it's really pretty. I like it a lot. So this is a hat. <laughs> and like I said, it's just a half double crochet hat. I started with eight, I think, stitches. <laughs> And I'm Chris too, I think 60. Uh, and then I just went straight. And then I did two rows of single crochet. And I used a J hook, I'm pretty sure. I need to start writing this down. <laughs> a lot of times when I make hats, I just like set, you know, I'm watching TV and I just, you know, pop them out and I don't even think about taking notes. But I do need to have the outside and the inside and I need to weave in and then that'll be good to go into my donation pile. And I don't need that anymore. Okay. Alright, next finished object. <laughs> I got all the finished objects. Okay, this one is a pattern also, but I did alter it a little bit. And this I was working on last week when you sent it. It is the Heart uh, Garland, and I'll link it below. But I got it finished. <laughs> so here's... I made uh, four of each color heart. So there's four red, four bright pink, four light pink, and four white. And then um, <laughs> to uh, attach them, I have kind of followed the pattern, but I did it differently. Um, I held three strands together. I held the light pink, the white, and the red together. And I chained 12, and then I single crocheted into the top of the heart. Chained four, and then single crocheted on the other top of the heart, so that it would hold it up. And then 12, and then single crochet, four, single crochet, 12, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all the way down to the end. And then at the very end, I single crocheted 12 again, and tied it off. And then the ends, I wanted them to be, you know, cuter. So I just untwisted the plies of the three strands of yarn so that it um, made this like tassel-y look. <laughs> and I do already have this hanging in my living room. I just took it down to show you guys. But I think I took some photos of it hanging up so I will insert those if I did take them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's still on my phone. But yeah, I think it's cute. It was really quick make. The little hearts, uh, once you make a couple of them, you know it's in your head. So I just popped them all out while watching TV. And then I just made the chain. Uh, I, I think she... Um, did the chain the same way the numbers might be different and she only used one strand of yarn but i wanted it to be thicker and multicolor. <laughs> i wanted it just to match you know the hearts so i did three of the heart colors except uh this one and i think it turned out really cute but yeah so that's all done and it does hang in my living room now <laughs> i'd like to make two more of these but i don't know if i actually will get around to it or not because i get so distracted with other things that i uh i usually don't go back to uh do, doing things multiple times now my last finished object is my big one. It is my scrap blanket that I started in August. I started it on August 1st, I think, or around there. <laughs> and I finished it actually on January 1st. I had hoped to finish it um, before Christmas, but we were actually super busy the week after Christmas, more than I thought we would be. Um, so I didn't really get time to finish it. But I was, this is the blanket that I started with my scraps. And I, I put a few scrap balls that I was gifted. I know Carla, uh, Crochet, crochet CJ <laughs> gifted me some paintball scraps of her. She made a big like polka dot blanket with it. They're in here. And then for Advent, um, I was gifted by Jennifer a box full of 25 uh, worst of eight balls of yarn. And if you watched my Vlogmas, uh, I did that every single day. So I added those in there. Let me 
find, I had left the stitch marker. <laughs> I tried to. Let's see here, right here. So Advent started on this blue color. This blue color, oh, wait, wait, yeah, it's this one. <laughs> this blue color. And my Advent got me all the way, where was my last Advent color? I think the, um, was it Bon Bon? I think Bon Bon was my last Advent color. So a good two and a half feet of the blanket was the Advent balls. And I still wanted it to be a little bit longer. So, I, and then I did end up getting gifted a few more <laughs> yarn balls from Esmeralda from God Rocks. I always forget the number, but I'll link her channel below too. She does videos also. She gifted me some uh, yarn. I know it was this pink color and two shades of gray. Let's see here, where are you, Esmeralda? <laughs> this uh, dark gray color right here. And it was a lighter gray. It's on here somewhere. I'm not seeing it, but it's on here somewhere. Okay, you'll just have to believe me. <laughs> and then the last time you guys seen the blanket, it was right here where the stitch marker is. This dark green color. So I did end up adding the rest of these rows and, um, and finished it off. So all the ends, the two ends <laughs> that I wove in or woven in, that was the starting end and the ending end. All the ends from where the yarns met, I just knotted them together a bunch of times and trimmed them till about an inch long because I think it's a cute scrappy additive <laughs> makes it look more scrappy now let me take this stitch marker off there's another one on there somewhere <laughs> I'll find it later but um so now it's the size that I want it I forgot to measure it but I'll measure it um before I edit this and pop it up the sizes the length and the height but I did when I first started it down here at the bottom I used worsted weight yarn and a j hook and I chained 141 stitches I mean chains all the way across and then I started just doing the basic granny stitch which is three double crochet and then you skip you don't chain or anything you just skip and chain three double crochet in, in, in the holes the chain holes <laughs> or not the chain holes but the skip holes and uh, it's upside down but it goes this way just back and forth back and forth and uh, I started using just my scrap balls and then you know I got the gifted ones and then I finished it with my scrap balls <laughs> and uh, it came out to I think 106 rows can't remember but I'll pop it up <laughs> long so yeah it's all done I will um I've showed pictures of it before so it looks pretty much the same <laughs> it is longer than it is wide because I wanted it to be a couch blanket you know a lot of times I will lay on the couch and watch tv and I'll just want something to you know lay over me so that's what I made this for so this will be on my couch on the holidays that I don't have a blanket for that holiday <laughs> so I like it a lot it's warm I haven't washed it yet I need to wash it so that it gets floppy but I was waiting to show it to you guys in case one of the ends came out. Because <laughs> that's always my fear of blankets is that one of the ends is going to come out. But I will wash it on gentle cycle. Like a hand wash cycle. And then I will probably just put it in the dryer long enough for it to get mostly dry. And then take it out. That's why I do my crochet stuff. But yeah. I love it. I think it came out awesome. I will insert a picture of it laying out somewhere. And I'll also insert the height and the width of it. And how many rows it was. Because I know a lot of people were curious about the size of it. Because... They really like the way mine was turning out, so they want to make one like it. I think Terry's actually going to start one similar. So, yeah, I love it. I love the way scrapping blankets look. There's a section of it that I really love, the colors. It would be pretty as a blanket. It's right here. From, like, this blue up to the bonbon, I think those colors are so pretty. Just these purples and blues and greens. That would be a pretty blanket in itself. But those are all scrap balls. I know this is bonbon. This is, pro like, spring green or something similar. But I don't know all of them. <laughs> They're just, it's just pretty. I love it. My big old scrappy blanket. Look at it. It's so pretty. <laughs> but yeah. So those are all my finished objects. Whew. One, two, three, four, five. I have another object that's almost finished, but it's for a swap that I'm doing. So I'm not going to show it until I mail it to her and she gets it in her package. Because I don't want her to watch it and, you know, ruin the surprise. <laughs> I love how my orange yarn is like lit up because of that hot. <laughs> okay, whip. I only have one active whip and it's almost done. Like, all I gotta do is sew a little bit of it. I do have, I have still a cardigan started that I haven't touched since before Christmas. I need to start working on that. And I also have my Valentine's Day blanket, but I haven't touched it since I last showed it to you. <laughs> I do want to start working on it, though, but it's because I got sidetracked with uh, this, and this is using the same yarn. So, um, I was trying to get this done, and then I was designing that pattern and all that, so it doesn't matter. I'll finish it eventually. Well, my only active whip right now is a cowl, and I bought some of this bulky yarn recently, and I showed it in haul. It's Lionbrand Hometown, 
and I wanted to use it. <laughs> so I grabbed down two balls of the, it's really bright orange. It's called, uh, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> Cy Cypress Orange, Super Bright Orange. And I'm making a cowl, and it's the Big Button Cowl by Rail at the Dablin Hook. She gifted this pattern to me back when she first uh, released it. And I never really keep extra bulky yarn. But lately I've gotten into size 5 and now I'm really liking using size 6. So that's why I ordered all these to make cows and hats with for donation. And uh, I love this orange. It's super bright. So I wanted to use it. So I got the crocheting part all done. I do have wheat ends to weave in. And it takes, these balls are 81 yards each. So I knew it would take almost two. Because the pattern calls for I think 130 yards of extra bulky, super bulky yarn. So I started one ball. And then ended it and so I attached it so that's that's four ends right there right no, that's three ends and then I was crocheting with second ball and it had a knot in it that one of those knots that if you just barely pull it it came out so I unknotted it you know I pulled on it <laughs> and so it has ends so that's what five ends right there and then I'll have the sixth end of cutting it when um, I probably should have cut it but I, I was waiting to see if I could just sew it before cutting it so that would be less ends but yeah so it is mostly done I don't have any big buttons though <laughs> i guess you don't have to use a button because it says that they're decorative so this is how it looks and then you you lay this over and then you take this short end and sew it to this long end <laughs> oh that's the best model i need one of those mannequins like everybody else has but it ends up being like that and you're supposed to have like a big button you sew it i think i didn't finish it <laughs> i think you just sew it up the side Maybe this side too, I don't know. I have to read the pattern. <laughs> and then you put the button on there, but the button's just decorative. So you don't need the button. And, um, but yeah, it'll be a cow. <laughs> but, uh, I got to read the pattern to figure out how to close it. Because I was actually working on this this morning before we were leaving. Devin had the car heating. Because we had to go pick up our grocery order. And, uh, it was done. So I was trying to finish it, but I didn't have enough time to finish it. I did get all the slip stitching around the whole thing done. And then that's when we had to leave. So, I gotta finish it up here in just a little bit. When I get done doing this, I will uh, finish it up and it'll be a finished object next week. And this came out super fast. Like, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes it took me to make this. And I've got enough to make one, two, three, four, like six or seven more. I'm trying to look at my yarn up there. <laughs> but, um, so I might just make a bunch of these cows to donate. Because, you know, I know a lot of people... <clears throat> We'll donate more practical things like thick wool hats to keep people warm. But um, the way I see it, because I've, I've been really poor before. <laughs> I've been, uh, when I was growing up, you know, we had moments where we were completely destitute. <laughs> but, um, and just because you're poor, I don't know how else to say it, doesn't mean you don't have favorite colors or you don't have favorite styles. <laughs> just because you can't go out to the store and buy the hottest things that everybody's wearing doesn't mean you don't want them. So, um you know, some girl or boy, because a lot of hunter men wear super bright orange uh, down here in the south. I don't, I don't know if that's normal everywhere, but um, they might want something that's pretty, you know, not just a brown thing that someone made with crappy yarn no one wants. Uh, so that's why when I make things for donation, I make things that I would like because someone else might like them too. But yeah, that's that. So this is the second ball. I still have some left. And actually, um, I have some of these, the tweed ones fleck I can't remember what they're called and this striped one right here uh have less yardage they have like 64 I think I was gonna weigh this after I get done completely done with the arm part I was gonna weigh it on my scale because if it is the same less gra uh, grams than those yarns because they're the same size then I can squeeze one out of those because that would be 128 I think I think they're 64 or are they 61 either way they're like 120 yards <laughs> And uh, I'm hoping that I can maybe use them too. If not, I can just make hats with them. But uh, I'm really liking these cows. They pop, they come out super quick. You use a big old giant hook. It's a, um, a 10 millimeter, which I think is an N. And a uh, big old hook, big old yarn. It just flies, <laughs> flies, and, and it's done. I'm a little worried about weaving in the ends. I left really long ends so that they, can, so I can weave them in better. I always tie my ends in a bow <laughs> so they don't come undone. But I leave it long ends so I can weave them in. And sometimes with super bulky yarn. I will untwist the plies and I'll weave in the plies separately, hoping that they'll stay in there better. <laughs> I don't know if that works, but uh, I'm just, that's one thing I'm always scared of, giving someone a project and the end's coming out. 
and them thinking that it's no good so they throw it away but it's like i can fix that <laughs> but um yeah so i have to figure out something to do i'll have to if i have a bunch of scraps i can make some kind of big random uh scrap basket or something with the, <laughs> the scraps or make some weird looking hats but yeah so that's almost done i just gotta sew it shut and weave it on the ends that's my whips i do have that cardigan i need to work back on it is the uh the everyday cardigan by sorella i'm using um a mustardy top color it's this color right here see so, yeah, i can get it out without pulling the ball band off i can't it's stuck in there good my yarn just crammed in there it's all of a yarn sun gold i think maybe it's really pretty it's kind of like this color but a little bit darker and um I want to get that done because it's pretty <laughs> and i've also got that valentine's day blanket so i'll pick those back up and maybe start working on them soon but i do have i got a collab coming up that i am um gonna work on project four <laughs> and i got some uh crochet alongs i want to work on project four i still haven't started anything for seda's um calendar cow this hat right here i entered into Christie's hats hats and more hats I entered this and that so that's that's good for January <laughs> so I need to do Santa's cow and I need to do Judy's at which pieces um birthstone thingy I still have it I got like a garnet color right here I don't know what I'm gonna do though I haven't gotten that far <laughs> I'm working on it <laughs> but, and I'm, I already got an idea for my pattern for February I just got it you know sit down and work on designing it so and it takes a while that bear right there I started designing it in like the middle of December, I think. And, uh, you know, you, you've got to make it. And then if you don't like it, you got to rip it out and do it again <laughs> to get the right shape and stuff. And um, so I just threw away all my notes on him yesterday when I was cleaning up my notebook. Because I got him all on the computer now. I had him, you know, I topped him out and everything. Because when I first designed a pattern, I do it on note paper. So while I'm sitting there doing whatever, I'll work on it and write down what I'm doing. And then uh, when I'm ready to make the PDF is when I transfer it from paper to computer. <laughs> and try to, you know, fix all my spill on it, errors in my math errors and then i take all my photos and um make a pdf that way so he took a he took a while to make <laughs> uh, i wanted to get him out before uh january 1st but i was a little late but that's okay and he's done pretty good i've sold a few of them so i'm excited about that <laughs> but uh yeah so i got february's and it's going to be an emigrimi also i'm going to say that they're probably all going to be emigrimis because <laughs> that's what i enjoy the most maybe some house decorations but i'm definitely not like a um a garment designer because everything that I end up making, someone else has already made it. Like hats, you know, there's only so many ways you can put the stitches in different orders to make them different. But um, that's why I love amigurumis, because you can design it a lot of different ways, it seems. But Because uh, there's some bears similar to him, but not that not, not that looked exactly like him. What am I saying? <laughs> so, um, I think it's fun. But anyways, I think that's everything. Let's go to the Happy Mail. Like I said, there's a video uh, coming out tomorrow with a bunch of other Happy Mail in it. These are just ones I got after I recorded that video. So I, uh, let's see here. I got two cards. Let me make sure I got the right ones. Okay, this one goes to that. This one goes to that. Okay. So the first one I got, this is, it's technically from South Africa, but she sent it from the U.S. because she came over for the holidays. I'm pretty sure. That's what she said. But her name is, I think, um, I don't know if it's Jana, because it's got two N's. It's probably Jana. Normally when I see Jana, it's spelled with just one N, but Jana or Jana. Now, now I'm worried I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, okay, it's similar. This is sparkly. You can't see it good, but see that background part is super sparkly. <laughs> Very sparkly. So she, um, she, I had mentioned recently that I want to start trying more teas, and I have actually. I got a bunch that I've been saving the packages so I can show you guys which ones I liked and which ones I didn't. Um, she said that they have some tea in South Africa that is really popular there, but it's hit or miss. You either love it or you don't. So she said that she would send me some of it when she um, came over to visit family or whatever. <laughs> I can't remember what she said. But it's called, um, I'm going to say this so wrong. Rubus? That's not right. <laughs> Rubus tea. And it translates, it says somewhere. Literally translate, translated to red bush due to the color change that occurs once processed. It is native to South Africa and is not, in fact, tea, but a herbal infusion. <laughs> a 
Rubus. This is that's all right. I can't, oh, that's all right. It's sourced from the Cedarburg region of the Western Cape and is known for its antioxidant qualities as well as being naturally caffeine free. Uh, it says it's naturally sweet, but the sweetness can be enhanced by adding a dollop of honey. It is best enjoyed with a dash of milk. Unlike black tea, Rubus tea tastes just as good cooled as it does hot. I love hot or cold black tea. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> I guess that's a southern thing though. Like that's what we drink all the time. <laughs> or used to. I don't really drink sweet tea anymore. But it's black tea. But um and we always drink it with ice. <laughs> I've been getting into teas though, and I had one last night that was delectable. <laughs> I did not think I was gonna like it, but it was very good. And I was falling asleep drinking it. It totally worked. It was supposed to be a sleepy time one. And I was like asleep. Uh let's see here. This is the instructions. Came with a bunch. I already opened it because I wanted to smell it. <laughs> I'm a sniffer. Came with two of these silver packs, and each silver pack has double bag. A bunch of them. Does it say on here how many's in there? 40. It smells really interesting. I'm kind of worried that I'm not going to be one of the people who likes it because it smells like hay to me. It reminds me of hay barns growing up. We always lived on farms, and my dad was like, he drove tractors and stuff for people who did, you know, like odd jobs. And um, us kids used to play in the hay barns, climb up on the hay, which is totally dangerous. My mom would have freaked out probably because the hay balls are notorious for rolling and like squishing people because they're super heavy. But you know, we were kids, we didn't think about that. So we climbed all over them and just played on there. And it reminds me of that. It reminds me of like an old barn smell. <laughs> and I mean that in the best way. That's why I keep sniffing it because it's like nostalgic. Hmm, smells good. I'm gonna try some though. Now that I shot it to you guys, I'm actually gonna try it. I had to sniff it though. I always have to smell everything. That's a lot. I hope I do like it because it's a lot of it. I bet that'll be good with sweetener and ice. Can you keep me a little box? I'll probably keep the box forever. <laughs> Cause, but what I thought was funny is it's from Woolsworth. Where does it say that? Right there. Woolsworth. <laughs> I didn't even know this still existed. I thought that was like an old timey store. Like in the olden days. Cause I remember from the movie Old Brother Rod though. Um, what's his name? George Clooney's character. I can't remember his name. Delmar Pete. The main guy. Whatever. He gets kicked out. <laughs> oh, Woolworth. That's so funny. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. Anyways, she also sent me some fabric, which is really cool. South African fabric. She said they were scraps, but they're huge, so. Alright, here's one of them. So pretty. I'm gonna make me stuff out of this for sure, because I'm definitely keeping this. I don't even know if I can bring myself to cut it. <laughs> That's how I want people from other countries send me things. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm stuck in Tennessee. I'm probably going to be here my whole life. And I'm okay with that. But it's so cool to get stuff from other countries. Because I got a really cool package once from Debbie, the um, the Canadian crotcheter. <laughs> uh, she sent us all kinds of, like, goodies from her country, Canada. And it was just so cool. And I got, I've gotten a package from um, Ireland. I've gotten a package, multiple packages from Australia. Um this one from africa it's just cool i even get excited over different states you know and this is the other one this is a big piece like i'd have to unfold it it's folded over so pretty actual african fabric that is so cool and i was looking at it and on this one there's a sticker and it's got like i guess an african language on it <laughs> I don't know. I know they got a bunch of different languages. I don't know what that says, but it says something. <laughs> so that's cool. It's a big old piece. I'm excited about this fabric. Okay, so that was that package, and then I got this other one. I got this one, um... When was the last day it was off? Wednesday. <laughs> Sorry, I brain farted. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, because it's Saturday now. This one I got from Nikki. From Nikki's Crochet Nook. Which is always weird saying that name Nikki because my name used to be Nikki. <laughs> but now it's not. It's Ella. But um, my name was always Ella. <laughs> but my middle name is Nicole. So my whole entire life, everybody I knew, I was at school and everything, was Nikki. Everyone called me Nikki because that was my nickname. But, you know, I was a kid, so I always thought my name was Nikki. 
and I didn't actually start using my name as Ella until I was 21 years old <laughs> and I started having to you know file fill out grown-up paperwork and all that so I had to use my actual name and it was really weird transitioning from Nikki to Ella and now everybody calls me Ella except my old family members like if I see one of my mom's siblings or cousins or something they call me Nikki and it's just weird <laughs> to hear yourself called by a different name when you're used to another name anyways she sent this card <laughs> really cute one I think I actually got two of these same print but uh yeah Nikki's crochet nook yeah and I was like sure I said that right she wrote up she sent in a berry tea which is probably good put that in my tea box she also sent this little pair of the um fold out scissors these are always handy and they're pink but then she also sent me this really cool thing that she made herself Like I'm holding it wrong. Okay, there. Isn't that cool? I had to re-glue the N and the E on. Because when it came in the package, they were broken off. But, um, you know, it just happens. But she made this little crochet hook herself. And she said all these little things on here are things that reminded her of me. So there's a little Christmas and Halloween owl there. Because I love my holidays. And a little boy blue reminded me of Jesse. So I'm assuming that's what she... Um, we actually call him that sometimes. I don't know if y'all got, uh, y'all know that. Probably not. <laughs> and then a penguin and animals. I'm guessing because, uh, one, I love penguins. And two, we go to the zoo all the time, maybe. Ladybugs. Love ladybugs. <laughs> Cute little purse that's got flowers on it. And it's a bag because I make bags. A little heart here. It's like a bead heart, so it's kind of like a stitch marker. And a lollipop because it's pink and probably because I'm sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got her little sticker on there that says, um... Created for you December 2020 by Nikki's Crochet Nook, which is so cool. And I actually have it hanging up. I took it down to show you guys. Oh, see my stitch markers? It's on the other side of that. And once I get me a chair, <laughs> you guys will be able to see it because it's going to be in the background. So, I love this. This is so adorable. And she didn't know that I was setting this up. I've been trying to set this wall up for a while to be my background. And so it was perfect. When I opened it, I was like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I did have to hot glue the N and the E on there. So, um, because it, they came off. <laughs> but, yeah, it's so cute. I love this. So, I'm going to hang it back up carefully so I don't mess it up. But, yeah, so that's the happy month that I got other than the video. That'll come out tomorrow, Sunday. And it's got a bunch of cards and stuff in it. I can't remember what I showed a package in it. I recorded it, like, a week ago. <laughs> I can't remember what I even showed in it. But, um... Because after I recorded the Happy Month videos, I put things where they go. You know, if someone gave me yarn, I stick it up there. If someone gave me cards, I put it either on the wall or in my card box, which is full. I gotta get a new tote. My my uh, original No Kitchen Name Happy Mail tote is full, <laughs> which I love because I actually go through it when I'm not feeling good or something. And I reread notes that you guys sent me. And I have every note and card that was ever sent to me since I started my YouTube channel. <laughs> so um, it's really cool. Actually, I pair my printer. I can get it without knocking stuff down. Oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Gentle, 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 gentle. <laughs> I, I went through my box the other day and to find all these little like trinkety things people sent me so that I can hang them up on the wall back there. And this cute little llama. Little, it's little things are all in the way. <laughs> and I actually, I took this card out because I love Dolly. Dolly's like the best. So I want to put this up here too because I love Dolly. So these are things that I want to put on the wall back there when I get done with it and this big blank spot I already got the clips I don't know if you can see ones there there's some up there <laughs> it's those uh, command strip thingies I'm gonna put yarn you know like kind of a Z shape <laughs> to uh, pin cards when I get new heavy mail I can clip them on there and then uh, when it gets full I can start you know cycle it through you know if I get new just keep cycling it but anyways <laughs> that's the plan but uh, I've been talking for a really long time so I need to hop off here but yeah, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow in a Happy Mail video and sometime next week for a new collab that's coming out. I'm excited. It's going to be me and Terry on your podcast, Valerie at Val Valerie's Cuddly Cat cr Crochet and Lee from her name. <laughs> it's her name. <laughs> Did she name her channel? No, it used to be called Totally and now it's just her name. But it's going to be us forward doing a really cool collab that is going to be all year long so i'm excited about it but um i guess it's kind of a crochet along collab thingy i don't know it's fun but you should definitely watch it we're all gonna be putting out videos at some point this week <laughs> i don't know if we're gonna do it all on the same day or not but uh yeah 
I'm gonna go ahead and get this edited because it's gonna take a while because I made a few mistakes I gotta edit out. <laughs> but uh, then I gotta put all this stuff up and I will see you guys in the next video whenever that is. <laughs> Bye guys.